So Brian, how much have you funded so far, historically speaking, as a company? So as things have changed, I, I, to stay consistently, we you know probably fund anywhere between eight to ten deals a month. And, you know, sometimes it's been a little bit less, sometimes more, but, you know, I think on average somewhere around 250 to 300 a month, or, um, you know, we've had months where we did a million. I, I got the blueprint because of the fact that I saw somebody say, let's make a hundred thousand dollars. You can make a hundred thousand dollars a month. Hey everyone, Oz Conar here with Business Lending Blueprint. I have uh, an amazing guest here with me, uh, Brand from our, our BLB community. Hey buddy, how's it going? Well, fantastic, thank you. Yeah, so if you've been following this channel for a while, you've seen numerous people gave shout outs to Brand as I'm interviewing their and we're recording their successes and they kept saying, hey, Brent is amazing, community is amazing, he's been helping me out. So this guy is a superstar in our community for sure, has been helping out a lot of the brokers who start with the uh, blueprint. And as they're going on, on their journey, they come across experts within our platform who just you know, give them a hand and help them out. Brent has been one of those people from the get-go. Not only he's an amazing learner, uh, but he's also he's not afraid to help others. So that's why it was only timely for me to bring him uh, on, on the channel and talk to him about what's been going on, what he's been building. But on, on, uh, on his part, he's been doing amazing things. So this guy, not only he started funding deals, but he's now becoming a direct lender himself. And now he's, I think you moved to like a oceanfront property. There's a wedding coming up. Just a lot of things happening all at once. So congratulations on all of them. So I'm dying to know uh, more about that. So why don't you just take two minutes and int introduce us, uh, introduce you to, to our community, Brad. Okay. Uh, I definitely appreciate the opportunity. It's definitely an honor to um, be, you know, interviewed and, and to be part of such a great community. Um, you know, I just love the business. I think that's one thing about anything that I've ever done. I've had a lot of different kinds of businesses, but I say this is kind of my first adult business, not in the wrong way, but in the right way. You know, we're dealing with financials and people's livelihood and their 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 dreams, you know, like to sit out and have some sort of store or some sort of thing that they're providing that they're making money for their family and trying to grow as big as they can. But um yeah, just just you know being a part of this community is was a huge um, uh, lift in what I was doing already. So mm -hmm. I've been in the space and kind of learned all the bad habits of things to not to do or been ripped off left and right, trying to figure it out with nobody to really teach me. So, yeah. Oh, definitely touched on a lot of great points. So obviously you're a very skilled guy and you're very talented. You could be doing any business. Why are you doing this one? Why this one? Because you're entrepreneurial, you can sell, you can hire, you can train, you, you, you know, it's rare to have all of those skills in one person. So that's very entrepreneurial. You're, you're, you're a boss man. So you can just run any business and <laughs> become fairly successful. So why, why do we have you here in the alternative lending industry? Yeah, well, man, I appreciate that's huge coming from you, man. It means so much to me. Um, you know, I, it's just one of those things when you're an entrepreneur and, and you know what it's like when you're trying to get working capital, you're trying to get money for your business so you can grow and the bank's not going to say yes. You know, you don't want to ask, you know, Aunt Susie again for, <laughs> hey, can I borrow another 10,000 for this great idea I got, you know? So um, I had actually kind of long story short, I had gone through a real health challenge uh, and was just kind of almost basically homeless at a point where I call it like a hybrid homeless. I was living in different Airbnbs and different places and just trying to figure out what was going on with my health. And uh, I came across um, alternative lending and business, you know, brokering and 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 found, fell in love with it. Number one, because the money, let's not lie, it, it, it's fast. You know, you're working on something. If I'm not feeling that good, I can, you know, make money pretty quickly and be happy about it and right. know that guy's going to come back. So I got a taste for it. And it was the thing that I could do. I, you know, you can be homeless and have a laptop nowadays, <laughs> right? So I, I would be in different places and, and, and just doing loans. And um, I don't know, there's something about dealing with the business owners. Mm -hmm. And because I had been a business owner before, got that part with them and, and we had a good connection. So I had guys saying, why don't you just go start your own? Mm. <laughs> so it was kind of like, however you want to look at it, like God of the universe, just sure. like yeah. directing, directing me on the heart path, right? Like, Hey, this is a good path to go. And I, I didn't really have any other choice. Yeah. So I, I just got started and, and it just 
kind of snowball took off and and was the right direction and and I had one client that's still with me today that comes wow. back to me regularly and he, he says when other people call he says are you with Brent and and they say no and he says you know f you and he hangs up I, <laughs> I that that to me is my my best compliment of all I lo- I love hearing that people feel that loyalty and so to be able to help people you know realize their dreams or be able to get somewhere from A to B whether it's simple or whatever how complex the problem is that I can actually be of great value to them where sometimes a bank couldn't even be, you know, a value to them. We can't help them, you know, yeah, yeah. and they have trillions of dollars here. I'm just a guy, Newport beach saying, Hey, you know, I'm talking to a guy this morning that's got to win 26 million and he can't get financed by the bank yeah, because yeah. of his industry. Right. Yeah. He's dealing with Nordstrom's and all these people. He's having a conversation with me and my, I'm like, Whoa, <laughs> but here I am. And so I guess there's a thrill in that too you know you want to be excited and passionate about what you're doing most definitely man i mean you get you come across people that you wouldn't know any other way right the entrepreneurs and over time you develop this culture within your company that you hang out and you also uh, work with like-minded individuals and you definitely had that going i didn't know that story that you were having a really horrible downtime uh, in your life and it, it picked up and it's i guess another you dropped a lot of gold nuggets. One of them is that even if you're in that situation, if you put your mind into it and if you have the right vehicle, which this business was the right vehicle for you, yeah. you can get back up on your feet and still do pretty well. But yeah. I'm guessing that it didn't work out amazing in the beginning, right? I'm sure you... <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there, I, I got ripped off to the tune of probably around 35 grand along the way and people, brokers that get you set up and then they they get the deals funded and then they're like, they ghost you. And you get to know people re- really fast when I mean, it's a niche market uh, and it's been, it's been growing, but it is still a very niche market because when yeah. people only associate business lending with big banks, like you, you stop right. a random person on the street and ask them, how, how would you get funding? They're not going to tell you, I would get it through a brand. They'll just tell you. <laughs> I want them to. <laughs> <laughs> we want them to say that. Yeah. But- we want them to say exactly capital. Uh, we got everybody doing that. So anyhow, that, that would be amazing. And also, what's your website, by the way, for anyone who wants to work with you, either they're in the blueprint or they're not, they're independently trying to figure things out. Guys, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not just saying this so you can join BLB, buy BLB, but we'll give you access to our experts too. Brand is a part of our community, whether you're in the BLB or not, and you're trying to dabbling in this industry. He, he's been through a lot in this industry, so he can save you some time and a lot of money and frustration and provide the coaching if you're really motivated, if you're honest, and if you really want to make money and work hard, because there is no free money here, right? This is a real business. So you got to put in the time. I had many conversations with Brent. So I, I will pull, we'll put his website below this uh, video. And but if you want us to put any other information so they can reach you directly, you can let me know after we're done and we can just post it in there unless you want to mention uh, a link right now. Sure. Uh, my website, you know, is www.exactlycapital.com. Just spell just like it is exactly uh, capital.com. And then if you wanted to reach me, best way is by email, to be honest, Brent at exactlycapital.com. Okay. So Brent, how much have you funded so far, historically speaking, as a company? Uh, and where you're going from, because our last conversation is like amazing. So you're going to the next level, not just brokering deals, by being in a position to lend your own money, investors' money, move, take it to the ultimate next level where you make money off of your money, which is a lot yeah. of talk about it in different industries. But in our industry, it's very real. Like syndication is real and it just makes a lot of money for the, for the, to the right people. Let's just talk about that. So since the, you started this, where, how far you come and why are you looking to move to the next stage? Um, so in total funding amount, because as your company goes and grows through different stages and there's been points where I just wanted to quit, right? Yeah. Like, I think I talked to you and yeah. I had a partnership change where I was like, okay, you know, I don't know that aspect of like all the tech and stuff. I'm the least tech person in the world, <laughs> but, um, you know, I like talking to people and I, you know, get out there and I have that magic going for me. So as things have changed I, I, to stay consistently, we're, you know, probably fund anywhere between eight to 10 deals a month. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes it's been a little bit less, sometimes more, but, you know, I think on average somewhere around 250 to 300 a month, or, um, you know, we've had months where we did a million. Um, sure. Now we're really putting things in place. I have um, a new partner that is just goal with marketing mm-hmm. and we're killing it. Like my 
whole schedule is filled up every single day with like 15 to 20 appointments. And I'm like up at five and it's, it's great, but that's all having to refine that process. But, um, you know, and then we brought on telemarketers uh, and really like going to that next level because I, I got the blueprint because of the fact that I saw somebody say, let's make a hundred thousand dollars. You can make a hundred thousand dollars a month doing this. And I guess I got comfortable at a level going, well, I'm making, I can make 10 to 15, you know, in my sleep. So that hundred thousand level is what really motivated me. And to think even beyond that was yeah. why I like bought the blueprint right away. I was like, sign me up. I'm, you know, this is, I already like this. So um, getting to that level where I'm doing it consistently, um, you know, so, so we're just a small shop, but we plan to really grow um, and, and bring on salespeople remotely, have all the email marketing and all the automations. That's what this business is really all about learning how to do that. So I don't have to be there to answer the phone every time or no. answer an email or send out texts that gets really hard. <laughs> yeah, it so. is. In Mali, if, if your goal is to fund two deals, yeah, you can do that. But if your goal is to make 100,000 a month and become a, a multimillionaire pretty much, you don't want to be answering those text messages. You can't, like it, it just does, you can't sustain right. yourself doing that or you'll just, you know, I get burned out. Burn down, yeah. which yeah. you've gone through in the past while so you were trying For sure things and some things were working out wrong partnership you switched everything and now you're finally seeing the land right so now yeah. it's happening that calendar is packed that's a good problem but it is still a problem that has to go through a refinement process higher yeah. process. you can keep delegating until you become a ceo and right. an owner who's not working in the business but right. on the business with your partnership that's like the yeah. next level and then this a uh, lending element came through. So why do you, I mean, you can't just keep making money. Why do you want to be a lender? Um, I, I think because if I'm being completely honest, I mean, I want all the money. <laughs> you know, like it's it, it's nice that these guys, these other guys that are funding these deals are making that money, but why not me, right? Um, kind of, that's kind of one of my sayings. I say, I don't know if I could say this here, but I say, why the fuck not? You know, that's oh, always my, that, that, that is that is my, motto you talk to anybody that knows me it's always why the fuck not we why can't we you know and it once you start to get on the right path or not the right path but you one of the mentors in the in the in the blb said to me when i was thinking about quitting he's like because you're already making good money don't change your goal change the approach Mm. you know and that's another valuable thing about blb is you get these mentors and guys you talk about all these leads we those guys aren't going to all qualify for loans right but they can qualify for credit repair or you know get them building business credit and so you have other examples in the blb of of people that can help you with that you know Mm. that are doing it already you're like damn he gets a you know, a couple thousand dollar check every week because he just has them go do that. You know, yeah. they funnel them over to credit repair. So um, what happened was organically when I got with the right sort of mastermind, I, I, I say he and I are like ax, slash and axle, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we kind of have that, you know, like these guys, you know, um, that have that good synergy yeah. and things have just been happening organically so fast that, you know, people started going, well, hey, can we help? Can we loan money? Can we get in the game with you? If I gave you $50,000 or $100,000, can we fund some loans with that? Make some money? Yeah. And that just started coming to me. I didn't have to go searching for it. So that it was just sort of the next step on the heart path, right? To to, to say, okay, what's the next thing that scares the shit out of me? <laughs> right? yeah. Totally makes my ass pucker. But it's it's just one of those things like, yes, you know, like this is what I'm, that's what we're here to do. We're here to you know, live and, and get uncomfortable and experience growth. And, and yeah, I want to be a multimillionaire. So I just keep on keeping on, on this path because it, it's obvious, you know? And then why not? Right. So, because, you know, um, one thing that makes entrepreneurs and most people happy that they did a lot of research on that one. Is it the good relationship? Is it friends? Is it money? Is it this? It came out to be one thing, progress. Mm-hmm. As we human beings, we want to progress towards a worthy goal, right? That's the definition of success. And for driven people like yourself, yeah, because you can be a broker, which is fine. Everyone in our community is a broker, which is essentially you are the middle guy. You're taking deals to a lender. Lending is funding. Lender is making the bulk of the money because they're putting their money at risk. You right. as the broker, you're not risking your own money. You're making a smaller percentage. But that small percentage, still a lot of money, allows you to make a lot of money, right? Yeah. But then once you learn how to play this game, to your point, why not lend the money? Because you understand the game, you understand the risk and mob, you understand, you might not even understand a lot of things, but you understand that these lenders are 
really rich. They make a lot of money. Yeah, so the, yeah. the, the game is working, <laughs> right? The, the, it's not like you're the first person to pioneer this industry. It's been right. figured out already. <laughs> there are more lenders being added every single day. And I myself, literally, syndication. once you understand that business model, then goes back to your point. Why not? Right. And the other yeah. thing, once you start separating yourself from the masses, you get the attention of people. People, you know, evolutionary process. We tend to watch things that are moving fast. If you see something running, you immediately take your guard and want to watch what's running so fast because it could be a predator. It could be something. This is the same thing in business too. You're moving fast and all these investors with the money, they're like, what is he doing? He's doing something. He's up yeah. to something. I, I, want, I want my money with him because he's going to take it to places type of thing. So you don't need right. to get venture capital. You don't need to sell a portion of your company. You don't need to go beg investors to give you money. Once you right. just get really good at what you do, people come to you. That's just amazing how it works. Call it God or law attraction, whatever you call it. Yeah. It's just the way it is. That's just how it works. The yeah. one percenter, the people who perform at the highest level, they don't need to ask for any favors. They just things happen for them, to them. And that's exactly what's happening. You're being surrounded by successful people and they look up to you and they think that you'll do a better job with their money than themselves. That's what becoming a lender is basically, right? So you uh, raise money and you're going to that level right now, which is uh, unbelievable. I mean, I'm so proud of your progress because you've been you. doing this. In a, you know, we, all of this is happening in a relatively short amount of time. So Absolutely. that's awesome. We talked about where you came from, what you've been accomplishing and, and the next level. Um, who do you recommend to be a business loan broker? Who should be a business loan broker? Um, if you love people, <laughs> that's, that's what I always say with anything that you do, especially in sales or this kind of thing. You just got to love people and enjoy people, all shapes and sizes, and you know, be able to have that wherewithal to, to want to be, help them better themselves, right? Like anybody that'd be good at this or people that, you know, like business and love, you know, the inner workings of seeing, you know, businesses go from a little small, you know, in a garage all the way to some, you know, um, skyscraper or something like that. And you get to be a part of that. So anybody that enjoys helping other people, um, that loves business, that has some sales acumen, because you definitely need to be able to be sharp and have strong posture you know, yeah. for this type of business, um, because you're dealing with millions of dollars sometimes. You're dealing with people's right. livelihood. So you don't want to be like, oh, I'll, I'll hopefully find out what to do. <laughs> so, like, you know, so anybody that, that wants to make a lot of money, yeah. definitely this is a good, good place to do it. You got to be money driven. If you're feeling like, I don't know, it would be nice to make some money. That's not, definitely not for you. You got to have right. a drive and a hunger uh, to, to go for that. Because at the end of the day, you might have this feel a mythical feeling that you want to help the universe, but it starts <laughs> suffering financially. It's not going to fly that far, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. They, what's that saying? It's hard to help the poor when you're one of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah. you got to be really driven to make a lot of money. Then as you grow your business, you notice that it's actually a good thing to be a nice guy and help others too. And that's going to be right. a part of your pretty much uh, mission statement. But dude, this, this has been amazing. I don't want to keep you long and we can talk for hours. Obviously, we're like-minded people, but there's no point in there. And instead, yeah, I'd rather, I know you, and you'd rather just go do some shit and make it happen. Close instead of deals, talking baby. About it. <laughs> Any last yeah, for sure. before I let you go? Yeah, I would just say, you know, if, if you're thinking about, you know, doing this and and it's just think about, you know, the, the price that I pay for, for BLB was been worth it like 10 times over because, you know, you get people that come and they, they, once you get really good at what you're doing, people get want help and you make your money back that way. And then the connections that I have where I've taken deals that I couldn't get funded anywhere else mm -hmm. and guys that have become direct lenders that are already paving the way in this group wow. say, oh yeah, we'll do that deal together. And we've done impossible deals together. You know, like Ricardo, just have to give a shout out to my boy, wow. Ricardo. That guy has wow. been so instrumental and so many different things for me and always giving. So you don't, you, you can't put a price tag on that. So, no. you know, my thing is like, enjoy the community, really use it for what it's worth. And it's, it's worth its weight in gold. And, and no matter what, don't ever give up, just keep, keep going, commit and know that it can be done because if you just follow the model there, you'll find that the success will happen because success leaves clues, right? So you just follow the model. Don't try and reinvent the wheel. <laughs> Amen to that. Yeah. So that that just, you know, like you said, 
principles do not change, right? Like take Ricardo, right. for example, that guy is not acting that way to make money. That's just who he is. That he's a giving individual. He can't, he can't live any other way. That's He's always been like that. Now he's in a position to give, he gives. So you're the same way. You guys, I know I read on within our portal that you guys made some almost impossible deals happen through collaboration, working together and yeah. getting creative. So this merchant will be thankful forever. You're talking about having customers with them with you for years. And when I say you get repeat customers and alternative lending, people go, what is that for real? Well, yeah, it, it is for real. If you do the right yes. things, we'll come back to you. You know, my, my first client, like I said, he started off, he, he, you know, was, we help we helped him get his credit fixed. He just was the most loyal, like he's coming to my bachelor party, like just <laughs> really cool guy. Right. And he, he has come back to me, I think 11 times already. And his deals are always either 50 to 150,000. So mm. you're talking about a 5,000 to a $13,000 payday just for picking up the phone and saying, Hey, Oh, here's your bank statement. Here's the funding. Congratulations. Oh, easy steal. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just one client. You can imagine you get a book of those clients. Right. It's over. You live yeah. on the beach. <laughs> oh, yes. Which you are by the beach right now. Right. You're not far from it. Or no, you're not at all. It's about five minute walk. Yeah. Five minute walk. All right. Good to yeah. be for sure. All right, yep. dude. It was lovely having you. Uh, Thank you. Always a pleasure, but thanks so much. Great to be. Great Absolutely. To be Thanks for having me. All right, man. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. All right.